let us all rise and for the entrance hymn let us take N31 like a sunflower. <laughs> Every moment of the sun, so I turn towards you to follow you, my God. In simplicity, charity, I follow. In simplicity. Like a sunflower that follows every moment of the sun, so I turn towards you to follow you, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, we have just sung a beautiful hymn like a sunflower. And that is all we want to do in our Christian living. That in simplicity, in humility, in honesty, we follow like the sunflower follows the movement of the sun. And that is what exactly we need to do as every saint did. They followed the movement, meaning the way of the sun, and that is Son of God, S-O-N. And that is exactly, my friends, every liturgy invites us to do that. For the times we have followed our own movements, we have fed into our ego, we have followed our own dictates, let us be sorry and together say, I confess yes, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, as blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. I offer this Mass for the soul of Louis Sacra Familia and also for the good health as our brother Vasco da Gama keeps his birthday. Let us pray for these two intentions and also silently put forth our petition, our prayers, our intention in this Mass. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the Lord said to Moses, Go down for your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. 
they have turned aside quickly out of the way that I commanded them. They have made for themselves a golden calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen these people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against, the, against them, and I may consume them, in order that I may make a great nation of you. But Moses implored the Lord his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent did he bring them out to kill them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your burning anger and relent from this disaster against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said to them, I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised I will give to your offspring and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord relented from the disaster that he had spoken of bringing on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. O Lord, remember us with the favor you show to your people. O Lord, o Lord remember, remember us, us with, with the, the favor you show to your people. They fashioned a calf at Horeb they, and worshipped an image of metal. They exchanged their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. Response. O, o Lord, Lord, remember us, us with, with the, the favor you show to your, your people. people. They forgot the God who was their savior, who had done such great things in Egypt such wonders in the land of him, such marvels at the Red Sea. Response. O, o Lord, Lord, remember, remember us, us with the, the favor, favor you showed to your people. For this he said he would destroy them. But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the br bridge before him to turn back his anger from destruction. Response. O Lord, o Lord, remember, remember us, us with, with the, the favor you, you show to your, your people. people. Kindly stand. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the Jews, If I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness about me, 
and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. You said to Job, and he has borne witness to the truth, not that the testimony that I receive is from men, but I say these things so that they that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing, bear witness about me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe the word whom he has said. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And it is they that bear witness about me. Yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive glory from people, but I know that you do not have to love of God within you. I have come in my Father's deep, and you do not receive me. If anyone comes in his own name, you will receive him. How can you believe when you receive glory from one another? And do not seek the glory that comes from the only God. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, on whom you have set your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me. For he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings, you will, how you will believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, if you see this is this passage that we have just heard is a continuation of chapter 5 and taken from gospel of john and you all know how lofty reflections of john and in chapter 5 a man at a pool suffering for 38 years and then he is cured. And after math of his healing, this passage follows. And there is one more authority. And then this passage follows. My dear friends, many of us try to debate on religious things. I think these debates will lead us nowhere. These are frivolous debates. Because faith at some point you cannot prove. You cannot prove. You have to take this leap, a jump, and then only you'll experience. Yes, some point you can prove here and there. But if you go by this analytic mind, then you will go with bitter experience. You will never able to experience this. And that is why religious things, faith related things you cannot prove. But you need to believe. You will have this, <clears throat> this uh, experience. We have been going around f during this Lent season, the entire retreat team to so many parishes. And when people come, Father I felt something within. I cannot say prove it now. Father, when the adoration was going on, when the talks were going on, I felt something different. I felt some sensation. This 
is what religious people will feel that way. But if you go by proofs, I need to have a proof. Then my friends, you will never find one till your death. Then you might never find it on this earth. And that is the danger. So one thing is, never find for proofs. Believe religious things. God has to be experienced rather than, you know, prove outside. Second thing you see, the word is stiff neck. Israelites were saved and they should have been the most grateful people on earth. But you see, when Moses is up there on the mountain, they feel this desolation, dryness. They don't feel the presence of God and they make a you know, man-made God. And that is what annoys God. So second thing is, my friends, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? Are we looking for God of consolation or consolations of God? Two different things. Am I receiving, am I seeking for God of consolation? God who gives happiness or happiness of God. If I'm going for God of consolation, then I'm on the right track. But I'm only seeking for consolation, this happy things, happy feelings of God, then one day I might turn like this the people of Israel. When I reach to this dryness, when I reach to this arid stage of my life, I might simply abandon my faith and people have done that. They've either changed their religion or they changed their denomination. So my dear friends, go for this con God of Consolation, not for consolation, but God of consolation rather than consolations of God. That is why in the introductory uh, hymn, the entrance hymn, like a sunflower that follows every moment of the sun. You know, when we were doing our studies, we were told the sunflower is a heliotropic plant. Helium means sun and the movements. So you see the sunflower will move to the movements of the sun and it will come back again and it will go to the movements of the sun. That is why it is called a heliotropic plant. That is what it will take track the movements of the sun and that is why you will see who has written the same. Is it figment of no my friends like a sunflower that follows every moment of the sun. So I followed the Lord in simplicity, in charity, in humility. That is what we said in the hymn. And that is what we need to do. Israelites failed to move according to the movements of God, of Yahweh. And that is why Yahweh moved one side and they moved other side when Moses was on the mountain. So when we see, I would say, go home today, sing the same, like a sunflower that follows every moment of the sun. So I follow the Lord. So I follow the Son of God. That is what, when we follow the moments, my dear friends, things will be better. And at the end, everything depends on the openness. How open you are for this experience. How humble you are, Israelites fail to show this humility. In the New Testament, the, the passage we have read, people fail, the Jews failed to acknowledge because they could not digest that this man, which we have seen him, a carpenter's son, his uh, relatives are staying with us, how can he transcend like this? How can he simply move like this? How can he get this kind of, you know, esoteric knowledge, this deep knowledge? That was that they could not, you know, digest. My dear friends, we need to be humble. And to be humble, there can be only two movements, two orientations. Love for Jesus and live 
for Jesus. Remember these two things. Love for Jesus and live for Jesus. Love for Jesus means so when you love Jesus, you know, again I'll say we go for these retreats and people come there, you know, so many the churches are packed, even the corridors outside. Why? Because there is love for Jesus. They love to sit, to listen to this word that can change, that has this potential to change. They love to sit before the blessed sacrament, go through this adoration. You know, sometimes three, four hours, three and a half hours, four hours. Why? Because they have this love for Jesus. When you love for Jesus, you will see that there is this dimension. That is, you know, you will read more. You will reflect more. You will come for mass more. You will do adoration. You will do so many pious things. But also the other dimension is live for Jesus. Yes, mass is love for Jesus. But what we do after that, we need to live for Jesus. Love for Jesus and live for Jesus are not parallel tracks. But they need to converge in our life. That is what my friend, as we partake in this Eucharistic celebration, Jesus loved his father, Jesus lived for father. And that is why you see all these beautiful things he could do without any iota, without any iota of pride. As I say this, I also tell myself, Father, remove everything, a trace of pride if I have, and let me follow every moment's of the sun, S-O-N, like the sunflower follows the moments of the sun, S-U-N. Amen. For the preparation of the gifts, let us take the hymn B-28 offering. Are you Lord God of all creation? Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil. And always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord. God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim Perfect. your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, <coughs> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, a chief spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohered to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we say together the prayer that Jesus himself has taught us, let us pray for our Pope Francis. Today was the day that he inaugurated his papacy. Many good things has come and may good things will come in future. Let us pray for him, for his good health, and for his ministry. Together let us say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is our Lord, who lived for the love of his Father, and he lived according to his Father's plan. As we partake in his banquet, let us ask for this grace. Blessed are we who are called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer by Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the communion hymn, let us take D131 O let the Son of God enfold you O let the Son of God enfold you with the Spirit and His love Let Him fill your heart And satisfy your soul Oh, let Him have the things that told you And His Spirit like a dove Will descend upon your life Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, that grant your servant freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Like the sunflower that follows every moment of the sun, we may also follow, and it is love for God that we have, but more than that, we live for God, live for Jesus. For this, go forth, the masses ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
for the recessional hymn we shall take G51 you be my light 